We got rid of our Subaru Outback Wilderness. What is up YouTube? It's your Average Joe with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about just two main reasons why we got rid of our Subaru Outback Wilderness. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out what our new overlanding rig is. Now, with that being said, there are only two main reasons why we got rid of our Subaru Outback Wilderness. I recently made a video, this one right here, where we talk about the things that we hate about the Subaru Outback Wilderness. But none of those things are the reasons why we got rid of this car. Now, this car is not perfect, but the reasons that we got rid of this car is not what you may think. If you guys haven't seen it yet, my wife and I did announce our pregnancy and our new baby boy. Uh, Jeremiah is currently five months old at the making of this video. He has been our joy. He has been our world. And he is one of the main reasons why we got rid of this car. So the two main reasons we got rid of this car is the lack of space with the newborn. We are planning on having another baby in the near future. So we just wanted to get something with more room now because we are already lacking room with just him. So we quickly found out that the space that we did have in the Subaru, most of that is gonna go to the baby, <laughs> which is why we had to get rid of this car because of the lack of space after having our firstborn child. This doesn't apply to everyone that doesn't have a child. If you're a solo traveler, a solo overlander, or if you're traveling with your partner, this car is still spacious in that regards. We go camping with our dogs in this car. So my wife and I, plus our two dogs, a little Chewini and a Border Collie, we all fit in the back when we camped out in this car. But having a baby, it just we just don't fit anymore so we kind of outgrew this car hence we had to get rid of this car and upgrade to a bigger car and the second reason we got this car is its capabilities so for us instead of spending thousands and thousands of dollars on upgrades at the end of the day it's still a subaru it's still not going to be as capable as a dedicated 4x4 with lockers uh what the subaru lacks that a lot of those body on frame trucks and suvs do too is the wheel articulation. You could get a rear sway bar delete and all that, but again, these are things that you would just pay and get it upgraded. So you upgrade the sway bar delete, you upgrade a bumper delete, you upgrade the suspension, you upgrade the tires, you add a rear locker. You're pretty much making it a dedicated four x four, but you still lack that crawl ratio because the Subaru in terms of crawl ratio, it's just not very good. Now, what did we upgrade to? Now, if you guys watch my shorts, you guys may have already seen what we upgraded to. Most of my family and friends know what we upgraded to. But for you guys that haven't seen it, let's go take a look at what we upgraded to. That is right guys, our new overlanding vehicle for the channel is our Ford Raptor. Now why do we choose a Ford Raptor? Well, it hits those two things for us that I was talking to you guys about earlier, which is one, the space, you know, feeling cramped with the dogs, the car seat, his diaper bag, our bags, everything. I don't know if you guys have ever been inside a Super Crew F-150 before, but this thing is so roomy. This is officially the biggest car I've ever owned. And number two, capabilities, right? Obviously this is a four x four with the rear locker. We have 35 inch mud tires on these things. We actually added a lift kit to this. So it's three inches higher than stock. So more capable than the Subaru. And for us, that was just what we needed. Uh, we took the Subaru, we feel like to its limits. And you know, we were still happy with Subaru. We still love those cars. Uh, again, we started overlanding in a Prius, and then once we realized we wanted to go even further off the beaten path, we upgraded to a Forester, then the Outback Wilderness, and you know, we maxed that out to its limitations, and now we have this Ford Raptor, and we can't wait to show you guys the adventures we've been on it. And yeah, we've already taken this car on a couple adventures, so if you guys want to see those, 
in the future episodes, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And I wanna thank everyone who is subscribed because thanks to you guys, we have hit our first 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and we've also got a couple sponsorships along the way. So I'm just happy all the hard work I've been putting in. Finally, this YouTube channel is slowly taking off, but you know. So that's our new car. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. You guys think I made a mistake of getting rid of the Outback Wilderness for this Ford Raptor? I mean, I'll always love Subaru, but you know, it does have its limitations. And with this car being a little bit more capable, we just thought it was the right move. And make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.